everybody needs to check themselves to make sure that they're not just surrounding themselves with people that already agree with everything that they have to say, right? We're really bad about this, I think, in the Muslim community. We say that we expect to disagree, and then we fly off the handle when we actually disagree. And we try to punish people, right? Whether that is like disinviting them from uh, an event or not showing up at their masjid or starting a new masjid or all this sort of drama. And in reality, you know, that's just, that's not what unity looks like. That's not what it looks like to be an ummah. We have to expect that we're going to have disagreements. Okay. That's like very, very base level. But more than that, we need to actively go out of our way to collaborate people to the extent to which we are okay with collaborating with them. Okay. So if, you know, you're invited to a certain event and maybe you don't believe in all of the things that all of the panelists speak about, but the thing that you're invited to speak about or the theme of the conference or the event is something that everybody agrees upon and it's not problematic. Well, then what's wrong, right? You really think that you're endorsing such a person just by showing up and being there? You think that you're going to lead people astray, you know, people are going to get exposed to somebody and then, you know, get more involved with them until they kind of are, uh, you know, led astray and misguided. Okay, maybe. I mean, that's, that's, that might happen. How likely is it, right? First of all. And second of all, are there other concerns that are more important, such as bringing unity to the Muslim um, right? If you have a, a town or a city in which you have, you know, a Sufi masjid, and we're talking about a Sufi masjid that follows a Sharia, and you have a Salafi masjid, and you have a, I don't know, like some other sort of, maybe like a cultural masjid, okay? How much interaction is there between those masjid? Okay, are the imams going back and forth and visiting each other? Do they have joint programming once a, once a month, right? Once a quarter, like whatever. So these, that is a help, a, a healthy symbol of, um, of unity, right? And if everybody is just making silos, is that, well, this is our thing and we're doing it this way and we're convinced that we're right and we're going to pat ourselves on the back and be content with the intellectual wages feeling superior that we're the right ones and never give an olive branch to the other guys and collaborate, you know, even about helping feed people and the things that everybody can agree about. Then I'm convinced that that's your ego. I'm sorry. I, I'm convinced that that has to do with your ego and it's not about defending the Sunnah and it's not about defending the religion, even if that's the language that you use to justify it. Because that is not the requisite amount of fidelity and loyalty that we have to have to other Muslims, even if you um, disagree with some of their things or even if you think that they have some issues, right? Put your money where your mouth is, right? Show me that you actually believe in the brotherhood. Show me that you believe in the Ummah. Show me that you believe in unity, right? I think that that's where we have to direct our attention.